Welcome to Latin Nation, celebrating your generation from coast to coast. I'm your host, Humberto Guida, and like many of you, I can't get enough of Danny Trejo. Did you know that when he went to San Quentin, yeah, that's a prison, he reinvented his life by reading and boxing. He became the prison league welterweight boxing champ, and then when he got his release, he dedicated his life to teaching young kids not to join gangs like he had done, and to do something better with his life like he is now doing. Now, Danny still acts bad, but that's only in the movies, where he has become one of the more distinguishable faces in Hollywood. And we have Danny and his boy, director Robert Rodriguez, telling us all about their latest adventure, Machete Kills. Check it out right here on Latin Nation. Action! For Machete Kills, I decided to go ahead and, and, and go really big and adventurous with it. This needed to be him on a mission. This needed to be Machete hired by the US government to go on a mission that they couldn't solve. He was trained to kill. CIA, FBI, DEA all rolled up in the war. Robert, you know, saw in him something so beautiful that he decided to make a superhero out of him. The enemy may have a missile, but we have machete. The one thing that I really loved about the character Machete was that he's just a regular guy that can kick ass. I would match him against any one of the superheroes because he doesn't use his superpowers. He uses his head. The whole series is completely wacky in how it goes about. There's no rules. There's something really exciting about that. You know, having a film whose its DNA is to break all rules and conventions. Because then you can do anything. And anybody, I think that's why it attracts a lot of actors, is because anything goes. I didn't have any preconceived notions about how Robert worked or, or, or anything. I only heard fabulous things. Um, and, and what I've encountered thus far completely supports that. Yep. I'm sure someone else gets shot. Right. Cut back to you. I think my favorite part about Robert is that uh, okay. he's so playful. And that when you sign up to work with him and the cast, that he, that he acquires every time is so huge because of this quality that he has. It's, it's just his ability to just play, you know? You, you're there to have fun. His characters for women are always so strong and a lot of fun. Um, I wanted to be one of those characters. Bring me my double Ds. Hook her up, lover boy! She's like an assassin, so it's a lot of fun to to be in uh, in a movie where you get to do action and shoot guns and shoot uh, people with your with your metal bra. The women in Robert's life have all been strong women. I mean, you look at all of his sisters, and they really, when they come into a room, they command a room, they take control. And I think because he grew up with these women in his life, he's able to really kind of put that out on the screen. And action! When you pay a ticket and go to a movie, you go watch a film, that's what you want. You want, to, you want something to happen to you. And that's, that's what I think, you know, Robert's films do. bring a lot of attention to a lot of Latino actors, which he loves to hire all the time. But at the end of the day, I know why he succeeds at what he does, and it's because he speaks a, a, a language that transcends cultures. There's nothing that an actor or performer or a creator or a filmmaker likes more than creative freedom. And if you have a project where that's what you have to do, that's the job, is to be completely free creatively, well, that's no job at all. That's easy, that's fun, that's play. Thank <laughs> you.